Good morning, Cedar Crest Middle School Falcons. It is Tuesday, February 7th, and it is day five on our cycle day calendar. And today, for Black History Month, we are going to celebrate, let me see, let me pull it up. Sorry about that. Jackie Robinson. Does anyone know Jackie Robinson? Jackie Robinson was the first black man to play in American baseball's major leagues in the modern era. So he was the first black man to play in the, ma in the baseball's major league. Only white players were allowed in pro baseball major leagues until 1947. How wrong is that? Um, so when Jackie Robinson was called up to play for the Brooklyn Dodgers, he made his first major league appearance near the start of the season on April 15, 1947. Robinson was named Rookie of the Year for 1947 and went on to appear in six World Series in 10 seasons with the Dodgers. He must have been pretty good. It's often now said that Robinson broke the color barrier when he arrived in all, the all-white league. Other major league teams soon followed Brooklyn's lead and hired black players of their own. Willie Mays, for instance, was Rookie of the Year in 1951. Jackie Robinson's stellar play and his role in breaking the color barrier led him led to his 1962 induction as the first African-American in baseball's Hall of Fame. In 1997, on the 50th anniversary of Jackie Robinson's first year with the Dodgers, Major League Baseball permanently retired Robinson's uniform number 42. He is the only baseball player ever to have been so honored. All right. Wow. That's that's just an amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, he, he just broke that barrier, and he showed them what he had, and he succeeded. Um, that that's incredible. What an incredible story. Um, and I'm sure he had a lot of things that he had to go through, um, to do that, but he, he came out with such success and was honored. All right. Today on February 7th, positive thinking for teens. Happiness is an inside job. Happiness is a feeling. And like any other feeling, it comes and goes. No one is happy every minute of the day, but you can create a greater degree of happiness by working from the inside out. Material objects provide moments of happiness, but feeling happy is very different. I can relate to that because I like to shop for clothes and it gives me that moment of happiness when I'm like, oh, I love that shirt or I love those pants or that dress. Um, that gives me that moment of happiness, but then it goes away because it's just a thing, right? It's not coming from the inside. It's not coming from my heart. So, could anyone else relate to that? Material objects provide moments of happiness, but feeling happy is very different. Create more happiness in your life by getting to know yourself better. Answer the following questions to get you started. When do I feel the most joy? So think about that. When do you feel the most joy? I'd say mine is when I'm with my family. Um, that's when I feel the most joy. And I also feel the most joy here at school when I'm with you and we're, we're laughing and having fun at lunch or in the classroom. Um, what do I enjoy doing when I'm alone? What do you enjoy doing when you're alone? I like to read books. I love to watch Netflix. Uh, I like to just like cuddle with my pets at home. So that's what I like to do. What do you like to do? What do I enjoy doing with friends? Oh, I love, I used to love playing basketball with my friends. I remember at your age, we, we would play like Donkey Kong on Super Nintendo. So what do you like to do with your friends? What sparks happiness for me? A lot of different things spark happiness for me, but it's great to think about those times because they're important and they make you happy. All right. I hope everyone has a fantastic Tuesday. Uh, work hard on your exact path testing today. Um, I know it's not easy, but you're pushing through and you guys are showing us what you got. So keep working hard and I will see you around.